Good morning and welcome to week four of Art Online and we're going to do travel this week. It's raining here in Connecticut, it's kind of drizzly and I'm a little tired of being at home all the time so I thought we would do some armchair travel. I'm going to go back to Bali where I was in 2008 and we're going to do a painting based on this picture and I know it looks hideously complicated but we're going to break it down according to everything that we've done in step two and step three of this week's emails. So this is what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be doing travel, we're going to be emphasizing values, light, medium and dark, we're going to be working with our chosen color palette and we're going to be looking at hard and soft edges. So the first thing you're going to do, hopefully, as based from your uh, exercises in the previous email, is you're going to choose your color palette. If you haven't already chosen your color palette, it's a good idea to do that now. It doesn't really have to have much to do with the picture itself, but it simplifies life if you have five or six chosen colors, two darks, two mediums, two lights, and you know where you're going to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is a very quick pencil sketch, and you probably can't see this because it's so dark today, but take it from me, it's basically just squares and triangles. And also you'll see in the email that I have a sketch of this that you can work from. Please feel free to do this project or follow the same technique on your own. And what you're going to do, first of all, is take your palette, do your pencil drawing, and you're going to wet the whole thing. So we are going to just take our water, our clean water, take a nice big brush, an 8 or a 10, and we are going to wet the whole painting. And if I hold it up to the light, maybe you can see that the water is glistening off, so it's pretty wet. So I like to work from light to dark and from the back to the front. And I have chosen with my color palette a lovely turquoise color. And that happens to be number uh, 30 on your palette. I think, I'm sorry, number 50 on your palette. So it's this color and this is going to be my sky color. So I'm going to dig in and I'm going to put my sky in all around the building. And we want to have nice loose shapes so you don't have to be too too precise and the water is going to make sure that you're not anyway. So you're going to have a nice loose painting by the end of this. So while I still have the turquoise on my brush, I'm going to put it all over the steps too. So now your painting looks like this. I'm going to take this lovely turquoise color and mix it with my lemon yellow to create a beautiful fresh green, which is this color. And the fresh green is number 40. It's bright yellow, number 40, mixed with number 50. And this goes in, add a little bit more yellow to this mix. This just blurs into the sky. And it goes in on both sides of the little house structure. Oops, my palette is falling down. So now you have a painting that looks like this. You're going to maybe add a tiny bit more yellow if you wish, but then you're going to make a stronger green, so a bit more of this number 50, and you're going to put in the green, the grass in front of the house.
while it's still wet and you have these lovely loose shapes you're going to take your burnt sienna number 46 let me just move that up so you can see number 46 and we're going to put in the terracotta of the tiles put in more on the side of the house and a little bit more down here so you will see you've got lots of lovely wet edges then we're going to take our lavender because it's impossible for me to paint a picture without lavender so this is your periwinkle, number 61, and that goes in the window at the top. And into the shadow area down below. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the sky colour and mix it into the window colour because the glass should reflect the sky. Taking the periwinkle, we're now going to put it on the risers of the stairs in front. So it looks like this. And then we're going to take uh, a nice dark purple. So we're going to use the dark purple from our color palette. And that is um, number 139. And you're going to mix it with a lovely dark green, number 57. And you're going to use that for the fronds of the palm tree up top. And you're also going to use it just down below to suggest some shadows in the foliage. You now have the foundation for your painting and it's a bit of a soggy uh, soggy painting so what you have to do now which is most annoying but very important is you have to set it aside and let it dry I'm going to wipe my desk and I know that that is the most difficult thing to do waiting especially on a day like today so this is one that I painted earlier and it's dry now so I can continue and what I want to do now is start to define some of the shapes. So I'm going to use a much thinner brush with a nice point. This is a number four. And I'm going to, as I say, start working from the back to the front. So back to my terracotta and I'm going to define the roof line and because it's an oriental roof I'm going to give it a little bit of a turn up at the edges. I'm going to put on some terracotta tiling. And again, I'm going to put a little bit more down here. And these are basically just little flicks, little sideways dashes that turn up so that you get the tilt of the tile. And 
and then on the side I'll do the same thing. So now you have your tiled roof. And while I have this, I'm also going to put in a water pot or a bro or earthenware vase just down below in the shadowed area. And I'll just define this roof with a line across here. Now, because I'm working back to front, I'm going to go in with my lovely dark palm tree over here. And that's a mixture of the purple and the dark green. So purple and dark green. You're going to reference your photograph and you'll try and get 